Hey YouTube, how you doing? This is Tech Extremist. Welcome to In The Tech News. I am Hector reporting for The Tech Extremist and for Tech Live channel. I really appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you hit that ring notification bell along with that subscribe button or subscribe and then the ring notification bell. Go ahead and do that. We'd really appreciate it so you can get the best, absolute best news possible. Speed test videos, you name it. We got it when it comes to the wireless carriers. But anyway, T-Mobile, in my opinion, is gaining a reputation. And no, it's not a negative reputation. This is actually a good reputation. T-Mobile is taking steps, planning better for the future over Verizon and AT&T. Now, I know I like to point out how much more money Verizon and AT&T are spending over T-Mobile, but you also gotta be smart with that money. Today I went around and speed test quite a bit, and there was quite a few installs that had those newer N71 big old panels that also do mid-band, and then they had the, the uh, N41 panel, so the setup was a simple big old antenna and the Nokia N41 panel. It was a very simple setup, very clean, four sector, uh, delivering decent performance, you know, 500 megabits per second and more, 100 megahertz and 41, with band 66 at 20 by 20, you know, band 15 at, at uh, you know, 15 by 15. Very good. Very good performance. So that's going to make it more cost effective. And now, here's another example of that type of planning as well. It might not seem important now, but we'll get to why this is going to be important. FierceWireless.com, T-Mobile Chase's voice and 5G, VONR, Verizon at and not so much. Now, it might not seem important. You're thinking, well, they already have, uh, you know, Volt. Who cares? Well, it matters. And the reason why it matters is because we all know that T-Mobile is leading the charge and trying to de deploy standalone. They're putting standalone all over the place. I can get on N71 SA pretty much all over Phoenix. I was able to do it in a lot of areas of LA as well, or most areas. So they're leading that charge, right? AT&T and Verizon are like, ah, oh, no, we got our LTE networks, which, you know, perform well. We, we praise them for their more comprehensive LTE networks. But it's like, well, oh, we will use our LTE network and just add the NSA on uh, you know, on, on 5G. And we'll be good. We'll be good. It might be good now, but the truth is that T-Mobile is pushing that envelope. They are pushing. I've criticized them for the uh, lack of spending, but this is good. This is very good stuff. And T-Mobile is doing it. T-Mobile is doing it now. And what is, what's going to happen is because they've that, they have that you know, 5G VONR enabled, it's going to allow them to go SA much faster than the other guys. This has already been spotted out in the wild. So it's already a thing in some places. So think about that. You might not think this is important. You might not think this is a quantum leap in technology or in sound quality. Or whatever it may be. But it will allow T-Mobile to do something faster that could make their network more reliable. And move on to technologies that make it more efficient. So while they might not seem all that important now, these type, types of things matter. And what is Verizon and AT&T doing? Eh, we're good. We're good. We, we got our LTE. You know, we got our Volte. We're good. It's like having that really old car and it needs to be upgraded and you keep driving it anyway even though you have to take it to the mechanic all the time. Eh, maybe a bad example, but you kind of get the idea. T-Mobile's going with the newer car. More reliable, more efficient, better gas mileage. And I think these things are going to pay off long term. Again, we talk about the money all the time. I talk about the money all the time. You guys have seen some of my videos. I get the comments saying, well, you're looking, you're not looking at the planning. You're not looking at the planning, Hector. Okay, true. 
you're not wrong. This is an example of where you're right. T-Mobile seems to be planning better now than Verizon. And I always have said Verizon is the gold standard for network planning. But right now, as I look at their C-band out, you know, deployment, it makes no sense. It's random. It's all over the place. Not sure how they're going to get to light it up at the end of this year. I, I don't see it. And T-Mobile is methodical. They've been doing things very directly, very quickly, efficiently, and doing things like this that don't seem all that important now that are going to make a big difference. Okay, so anyway, let me know what you think about this. You know, engage in conversation, ask us questions, whatever you want to do. We would definitely be happy to hear your opinion on it, on it. Maybe you don't think this matters. That's fine. That's what this is all about. Just let us know. But anyway, I really appreciate y'all watching. Hit like, subscribe, comment. Make sure you hit that ring notification bell. You all have a good one.